my name is Ray Kung. Uh, my job title is Craft Practice and Learning Lead at Alassian. Um, my team is essentially an LED function for the R&D org, which primarily encompasses engineering, design, and product management. My uh, team and my programs are not traditional L&D folks. They, we have a variety of different backgrounds program management, um, you know, some instructional design, some engineering background, um, you know, some event planning uh, background. And where this model fits in very nicely is um, taking a lot of those different elements and putting together in uh, a model that helps for us to work together as a team more effectively with shared language and, and common understanding. G'day, my name is Eve Clayton. I am a community manager here at Atlassian. My name is Maddie. I'm an R&D program manager for Atlassian. My name is Charlotte Whitmore. I am a program manager at Atlassian based out of San Francisco. As Crystal talked about, I think that we've been very focused on this one size fits all, this um, one and done piece. And now we are looking more holistically. One of our biggest challenges as a team that we've tried to tackle is trying to have teams make time for learning. And I think if if this really were to like every single team we're doing at the clusters and it was completely embedded, I think that actually would change that no one would really need to make time for it. It would happen like organically already through all of the assets that are in place that are targeted specifically to those people to meet them at that time. So it doesn't feel like I need to block out a certain amount of time to go and learn something. It's more like um, it just, it's already happening and you almost don't even realize it. So it actually kind of changes almost the entire goal of making time for learning is that it's, it's being made. Learning is happening and nobody actually is like, really realizing that it's so ingrained. The value of having uh, going away then and doing the work yourself and then having it critiqued with uh, Crystal and then coming back and refreshing it and then presenting it to your colleagues was, was really, I liked that method rather than being stuck in a room for two days and knowing that your work is piling up behind you. Again, the timing was really perfect for us since we were specifically working on um, a learning events strategy at the time. And then to be able to tie that in with these are some actual brainstorming ideas of things that we can do right now as we're redeveloping the whole way that we do events at Atlassian was really cool. And so we're, we're definitely continuing that on now. Ended up with a pretty actionable cluster that will be part of a larger kind of reimagining project. And what we realized and worked on is we created this kind of higher level template cluster in a way. And the idea would be that as we look at any individual program, we start with that template and then we edit or add in things that are going to be more specific to that audience. Um, so it's it's been working really well. manager's goal is to have this used by the whole team always. The idea for our team, at least, is everyone's going to come in and get the familiarity of this because the idea will be that whenever we're starting something new um, that is learning focused, it will run through these actions um, and run through this process. If LCD model was incredibly widespread adoption, I think the main effect that would have is creating a lot more focused time and intentionality and really taking the time to actually fully investigate what you're doing and why and who you're doing it for so that by the time you're actually working on it, you have a lot of confidence in what you're doing and you are pretty sure you won't have to roll back. That's what I think would be the major, major benefit along with in general having this common language, right? So it's really easy to understand what someone else is doing. If you don't understand the subject matter, you at least understand where they are in the process. The opportunity to learn is very important and you will discover when you start to make time for yourself and actually engage in some of these activities, how much it pays you back. As far as learning clusters are concerned, I see um, that we'll be working on 
bringing in learning clusters as a part and parcel of the way that we work and operate as a team. We're at a time of great change. And um, I guess learning is the sister or brother to change. And so for any business leader, institutional leader who cares about their org to lead them in this time of change, uh, you really uh, should consider optimizing the, the learning component of it. I would maybe ask uh, my peers who either read the book or considering is to really ask themselves about how how relevant and how impactful they they have been or they are um, to their organization. If there is um, if there is kind of an intuitive sense that we um, we were meant for more, so to speak, uh, and we can be involved in more things, but need um, maybe need to experiment on how we can go about that. I would uh, strongly ask them to give the book a try, give the workshop a try.